Can you name this person? I'll give you some clues. Spouts mumbo jumbo at the side of the road, refuses to pr produce his driving license when requested, and records the encounter to be on the record, but that video miraculously finishes just before the, uh, the end of the encounter. Who is that person? His name is Glenn Short. G'day, hello and welcome back to the channel. Thank you. I just want to warn you, this is a long video. However, it is a funny video, full of memes, full of information, full of facts, and just basically full of fun. Yes, today's video is about a gentleman self-named uh, Glenn Short, whose channel name is uh, Patreon 101. Now, despite lots and lots of research, it appears that that channel has disappeared. Nevertheless, Glenn has been pulled over by a traffic police officer in New South Wales, Wollongong, for an RBT. Let's see what happens. Is that your name? Yeah, I'll start from the beginning. How about we do that? Yes, let's do that. All right. Senior Constable Roncardo, Wollongong Highway Patrol. Thank you. I'm required by law to let you know I'm wearing a body worn video camera that's recording, and there's cameras in the Highway Patrol car that are recording. That's as well. fine, no dramas at all. All right, do you agree that I've uh, directed you into the RBT site for the purposes of random testing? I agree, you pulled me in for that, yeah. 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 Right. Do you agree that I've asked you to produce your driver's license? Well, it's going well so far. He's answering the officer's questions. Will it continue? Yes, and do you agree that I've said to you that is a commercial contract to the Rads and Maritime Services, and that is a separate corporation to the New South Wales Police Force, which is a different ABN, so you didn't have the consent by me, who are, I am the beneficiary and the executor of that legal fiction name, you didn't have the consent to even look up the details of that commercial contract to the RMS, because you're a separate corporation. People actually believe the word salad that you're selling. And the answer to that one is a big fat no. I agree you said something similar to that, not quite as long as that, much, 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 much shorter. Oh, I do study law. Yeah, alright. Hmm, I'm sure you do. But I don't think watching YouTube and TikTok videos qualifies as studying. But this is your story, you tell it. So, in the end, you said you're driving a motor vehicle and the state of New South No, I'm not driving a motor vehicle, I'm travelling. You're required to produce and will one carry and produce a driver's license with when police ask that'd be if you're conducting commerce and i'm not conducting commerce i'm actually oh, traveling oh, not this again well actually it states under section 175 of the new south wales road transport act 2013 subsection one states an authorized officer may in the execution of the officer's functions under the road transport legislation require the driver or rider of a vehicle or a horse didn't know about the horse to do any or all of the following produce the driver's relevant australian driver's license in the case of a uh, in the case of a car state the driver's or rider's name state the driver's or rider's home address Subsection 2 states, a person must not refuse to comply with the requirement of an authorised officer under subsection 1. So yes, you do have to produce your licence. Do you agree that I then gave you a warning that if you didn't produce that driver's licence that you would be arrested? Oh, I agree you gave me that warning, but I find you have no jurisdiction as the state of New South Wales is registered to Washington DC under the... Ah, uh, listen to me, please. I'm going to continue. B. Look at me, please. Look at me, Kim. Look at me, please. Look at me. Look at me, please. Look at me, Kim. Look at me, Kim. Look at me. I'm looking. Now, I had to throw this in there. It's not quite listen to me, but it is classic Australian. Kath and Kim. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. I had to throw it in there. State of New South Wales is registered to Washington, D.C. on the Security Exchange Commission, 00000071545, which means that you now require an ASIC 4AD memorandum, ASIC 402, ASIC 403, ASIC 404, and ASIC 405 to be able to conduct business lawfully in this country. No, he doesn't. His warrant card allows him to do that. Again, I've mentioned to you before, I don't know what you're talking about. In I do because I study law. In the end, I'm dealing with the road 
rules in terms of New South Wales or road legislation. Well, well I just told you, New State of New South Wales is registered to Washington DC without the people's consent of this right. country. Let's get this straight. New South Wales Treasury Corporation, also known as T Corp, is owned by the New South Wales government. New South Wales, by the way, is the size of California, Utah and Arizona, all put together. It offers financial advice for the New South Wales government and lots of others. In the last nine years alone, it has returned in excess of 42 billion Australian dollars in investments. And yes, it is registered with the Security and Exchange Commission in the United States because it invests in the United States and it is underwritten by JP Morgan. However, it is purely an Australian company. Sir, this is your last warning. You need to produce... I don't need to. Mark. No, I don't, sir. You, you know... Turn your customer on card at this point in do time. You not, do, do, not, do, not, uh, do not come to my private property, sir. Sir, you're under Do arrest. not enter in my I private property. You're trespassing you. on my I private property. You do not have consent to enter my property. This is my private property. Sorry, you do not have consent. You don't have consent. I do not consent. If you break my window, Open it up. if you break my Open window, no, you are trespassing against my property, sir. You do not have consent. You now, now placing you under penalty of perjury, you must provide the material evidence that you are not a business. Now placing you under penalty of perjury, you must provide the material evidence that you are not a business. You sound like a broken record. Right now, you must provide the material evidence that you're not a business. You're under penalty of perjury now, I remind you, officer. I know the law. Quit fucking cherry picking my constitution. Very well. I study contract law. Alright? I know exactly what goes on here. You do not have jurisdiction over me. I am under the jurisdiction and within the jurisdiction, and here we go, here's my identification of the Global Federal Postal Courts. I'm sorry, the what now? Global Federal Postal Courts? Let's expand on that a little. According to ABAJournal.com back in 2016, the Federal Postal Court was headed up by a chap called David Wynne Miller. Apparently, he used to make up his own language, which consisted of unusual syntax and mathematical formulas. Back in 2016, the Federal Postal Court sued a company called Ocwen Financial Group, and a federal judge, Judge Jeffrey Meyer, stated that the so-called Federal Postal Court was, and I quote, a sham and no more than a product of fertile imagination. And he threw the case out. Miller states that the Federal Postal Court dates back, way back, to 1775, when Benjamin Franklin was around. It's utter nonsense. There will be a link to that abajournal.com post in the description below. That's a legal fiction name, that is not I. Legal fiction name, that's not I. You are committing personage right now by trying to identify me as a legal fiction name. You do not have the right to do so, that is personage. Personage is a crime. You're supposed to be upholding the law. Definition of personage is, well, a person. Sir? I am under global federal jurisdiction. Do you want to see my identification tag? You do not have jurisdiction over me. Real federal, not corporate. I am a student of Mark Kishon Christopher, the global chief postal court judge. Apparently now, he's the one in charge. Do you still want to wish to try to contract with me, sir? Do you believe you are higher jurisdiction than Mark Kishon Christopher, the Global Chief Postal Court Judge? 
the real federal. Commonwealth of Australia is registered to Washington DC on the Security Exchange Commission 00008005157. That is fraud, that is treason, that is without the people's consent. Sir, you are sitting in a position of treason right now. I'm sorry, I have to throw this in there post edit. The definition of treason is the crime of trying to betray one's country, either by killing or overthrowing the sovereign or government. This is not happening here. I will take this to the courts. I've already beaten the Chief Magistrate in the court in Sydney. And you will be next on the litigation. You'll be held liable in the private capacity. Do you understand? In the private capacity, you will be held liable. Your badge is your indemnity number. Your corporation does not cover you for your own conduct. Do you understand? I do not understand. 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 No police officer in the world has an, an indemnity number. <laughs> Try saying that a few times quickly. So you do not have jurisdiction over me. I am global federal jurisdiction. And you will be receiving a judicial notice from me. Do you understand? How about new? corporation cannot make laws for the living nor can a corporation enforce laws on the living sir i run a channel that reaches over 1.4 million people weekly and it appears that that channel has been deleted and i will make you famous this will make you famous i need to go I have to be somewhere. Sorry. No! You do not have jurisdiction over me. I am global federal jurisdiction. Right there, my friend. Right there. Global federal jurisdiction. We are the ones serving you notice. I have already served the New South Wales Police Force notice. Judicial notice. They have been acquiescent to all the questions I have proposed. And I'm sure that went swimmingly. A to Z of questions, which will be brought up, and A to Z of questions, they could not confirm their jurisdiction nor their authority. Okay, I know exactly what I'm talking about because I study this stuff for many years. You don't have jurisdiction over me, sir. I am going. Thank you. Have a good day. No, there's no Mr. Glenn Short here. You are talking a legal fiction name. I, I right, that'll do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. We have just met Glenn Short, Australian sovereign citizen. citizen. Right, that'll do it for this video. We have just met Glenn Short, Australian sovereign citizen extraordinaire. That took five takes, by the way. Right, thank you for getting this far that was the end of his video we all know exactly what happened after that video stopped but hey we've got no evidence whatsoever right thank you very much for watching if you did like the video please consider clicking that like button it really helps the channel if it is your first time here clicking that icon over there if it's there i'm not sure it may have disappeared if if not then you can click this icon up here and right over here will be another sovereign citizen that you can watch, which I think you would enjoy. I will see you on the next video. G'day.